Welcome back to Lights, Camera, Cookies. My name is Larissa and this is my friend. Hey. And this is my lightsaber. Why do I have a lightsaber and why am I dressed like a Jedi? Shh, don't tell anybody I'm here. Because we are celebrating Obi-Wan Kenobi that was just released on Disney Plus this month. Yes! So we yes, made yes. a really cool cookie. This was my first oh. ever attempt at a portrait. That came out awesome! Um, first oh. ever attempt at a portrait. Look I how cool! Took, this was like one of the promo posters, um, you know, for Disney Plus Obi-Wan. So I did it, and I think I did a pretty good job for my first one. So I want to take you step by step as to how I made this, try to give you some pointers and things that I learned along the way, and then come on back and join us. I'm going to give a few little more tips and tricks, and then let's just talk about Obi-Wan. Really yes! cool show. I hope you're yes! enjoying All it. Yes! spoilers! And that you watched All spoilers! It. No spoilers. All, All right. spoilers! Cookie friends, we will be right back with you. Enjoy watching how this was made. Okay, so as always, we're going to start off by flooding our cookie. And I just want to point out really quick, you see those fork holes that I have in the cookie? I had put those holes in the raw dough before they went into the oven because it helps to uh, make even baking. So you get less maybe bubbles or something like that in your actual baked cookie. Um, another thing I want to point out here is you saw how I flooded that cookie before I did this extra layer. Um, there were some ripples on that cookie from the icing and I just want to let you know the way to combat those ripples is let your cookie dry where there's airflow. If you were to put your cookie right into a box and seal it shut, your icing might ripple. So leave it out, let there be nice air circulation and you can try to avoid that. So first thing I did here after I flooded my cookie, I made the outline for Obi-Wan's um, silhouette. And I let that dry, and once that was done, I came back and I'm starting to carefully paint. I am not a professional artist. I've taken one art class in my entire life and everything else was trial and error. And I've made many, many mistakes to get me to this point. <laughs> so you can see I um, am starting to paint with my light colors first. I don't want to paint with my dark colors first because it's really hard to take that away in case you make a mistake. So everything's light and if I need a darker, I'll add to it. So I'm starting with my skin tone. And as you know, I mix my food coloring with a vodka or an extract. And I have a very fine food safe paintbrush that I use here. So I remember in my one art class that I took in college, my professor had told me, um, don't think about painting a nose. Don't think about painting um, a mouth. Instead, you're looking at light and dark. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Instead of thinking, oh, I have to paint Obi-Wan's nose right now. No, I'm looking at an image and I'm seeing what's light and what's dark. So I'm literally coming in here and placing my lights in my darks. Um, and I'm thinking of it that way instead of actual objects that I'm painting. So you see on the right hand side, that's part of his hood. I'm trying not to think of it as I'm painting his hood now. I'm thinking of it as I'm looking at the image of him that I'm copying. Um, this is black, so I painted it black. Same thing with his nose right here. His nose actually was my most troublesome spot. Um, it's really hard to, th it was really hard for me to try to wrap my head around. I'm not painting his nose, I'm painting shadows and highlights. Um, his beard over here, I wanted to put some texture on that. So you saw I painted it brown and I took my scribe tool, that little needle looking tool, and I scratched the surface of it just to give some texture. I thought that was a cool touch. So I'm keeping with my method of just remember to paint darks and lights and get that separated. Um, and you know, in the image that I copied, it was much darker than my final product. Um, I put my own spin on it. I didn't want the cloak to be 100% black. It wouldn't have looked like anything. Um, so I added my own other colors to it and I'm pretty happy with how that came out. And I also wanted to give some texture so it wasn't just like flat brush strokes. I came back and I kind of like stippled my brush on it. And here you can see I had torn a little tiny 
piece of a paper towel. I also used a Q-tip to erase some of my mistakes that I might have made. Um, I also have here, you see I'm painting white. Um, Wilton has a really good white food coloring that I use to really highlight and accentuate some of the highlights. Otherwise, how would I have done that? So actually my, my white and my black were like my key players here. And I also wanted to mention if you do make a mistake, it is very easy to take whatever you're using, your vodka or your extract, and put that on a Q-tip or put that on your paper towel, and you can really erase everything you just did. Um, so I did that a lot here. I think you might have seen a lot of like Q-tip <laughs> Q -tip work or paper towel work, as weird as that sounds. Um, because I was able to erase it. And also with my paper towel, I used it to blend and shade. You know, I didn't want to use my finger on it. I didn't have one of those erasers that you use when you're doing um, like charcoal work. So I used the paper towel and it came out quite nice. And yeah, his face was definitely my most challenging part, but I'm really trying to stress here that like, you know, like I said, I'm not a trained artist, but this is something that you can learn to do. Um, and here I was painting like the cowl, you know, like of his, of his tunic. Um, and I kept thinking, I took a stage makeup class in college also, and I kept thinking of learning how to make wrinkles. And it was always, you make your white highlight and you make your black highlight. And depending on which way the light is hitting it, is the way that you know the, the creases are going so that's what I did I painted my black and then I painted my white and that created um, wrinkles um, and I thought that came out pretty cool so that was all thanks to my stage makeup class and then of course the easiest part here was just making Darth Vader's little silhouette there wasn't too much technique going on here and then I just painted the cliff that he's standing on and you'll see, I, I, like I said, I started with my light colors and I went into my black. I smoothed that out with my paper towel. And I just wanted to bring it all together. So this image does look a little bit different than the image that I was um, using as my inspiration. I just wanted to tie it all together and, and bring it down so there wasn't a real clear difference here between, you know, the outfit that Obi-Wan is wearing and what Darth Vader is standing on. And again, I used my highlights to really bring that cliff out so he wasn't just completely faded into Obi-Wan's clothing. Really, I think that white highlight is what brought everything to life here. And that, that is pretty much it. I hope that you might have at least picked up one thing here. And if you take away anything, it's just, just go for it. And if you make a mistake, it is okay. You can always do it again and try again next time. All right, what did you think about this? I feel like I learned a lot. And if I could do it again, I would. Um, I feel like some of my colors got a little bit muddy, but you know what? For a first attempt, I was really it was happy. That awesome! Thanks, hey? You did a good job! I was definitely nervous to put my paintbrush on the cookie. It took me a while and I just said, you know what? Get over it. So that's my point. If you are nervous about doing anything with cookie decorating, you just have to do it. And if you mess up, you mess up. You can always you know correct what? your mistakes. You know what? What? Sometimes you just have to force yourself. You just have to force yourself. So this is what I use. I just want to show you. Um, I'm only showing you because I want to let you know you don't have to go out and buy the best of the best of everything and you need all of these no. tools and all of these things. So I try to be as re resourceful as possible. This was an egg carton that came oh. with like plastic confetti eggs. So it was Look at that. That's a, mess. a good container for a palette. You, I'm currently using it, which is why it is don't so splash me. messy right now. Don't splash but me. But instead of going to buy palettes, you can use something that you have. So I just washed this out you know, sanitize it and it's there for my next round. Nice! Um, my paintbrushes. I get my paintbrushes at Michael's. Nothing super fancy or special. I just want to make sure that they are food safe. I don't want any, you know, chemicals on them. So usually yeah. you can find them in the baking aisle. Some kind of food safe paintbrush. 
And I just want to reiterate one more time that in the video you saw I was using my um, food coloring. I used food coloring and a clear vodka. And I want to reiterate one more time that these cookies do not have an alcohol in it. The vodka evaporates and that's why you want to use um, some type of alcohol or an extract because if you use water, you're going to wind up, wind up staining your whole cookie. You're going to see like water spots on here because it's not going to evaporate as well as something like alcohol or an extract. So that's, I hope you liked that and I do want to make some more portrait Definitely cookies. Definitely a spoiler cookie! Well, you know what? That was Disney Plus spoiling it. I mean, that's like the big well, thing, right? Is Darth Vader coming back? Are they gonna like battle well, it out? What's gonna happen? The Star Wars people knew, but... Well, the Star Wars fans knew. I didn't. I feel like I learned a lot about Obi-Wan. Yeah, you've been in like Star Wars mode. Yeah, usually I tend to fall asleep during a lot of things, but Obi-Wan I'm not falling asleep through. And I've watched three whole episodes with my eyes open and I'm really enjoying it. Please. I do like Ewan McGregor, so maybe that's why I'm watching the show with my eyes open. Oh, He's a good actor. I know. So, um, Hank, are you enjoying Obi-Wan? Oh, I'm loving it! As a big Star loving Wars fan. Loving it! I feel like I'm learning so much. Um, I don't want to give too much away though. We don't want to give any spoilers, but have you guys watched it? Are you enjoying it? Yes, come on, tell us! What do you think? Do you have a favorite thing that's happened so far? Don't spoil uh, it though. All of it. All of it. All of it. You know, seeing all the original prequel characters mm -hmm. coming back and put in a new location, it's, it's pretty good. They're really recycling that Tatooine location. What do you mean? It's like everywhere. They just use it in Book of Boba Fett. But Tatooine's not in Disney, right? No. No. What's the Disney? Bantu. I always forget that. Well, speaking of Disney, Disney um, and our lightsabers that I, oh. you know, my, it up. my, what is this? It's blue! Toys R Us lightsaber. Ah! Ah! Careful. Oh, singed your hair a little bit. Oh, Sorry about there. that. So Hank oh. was telling the other one? Hank was telling me that like he, a baby lightsaber. he wants to get a lightsaber from Disney World or Disneyland. Um, and yes. then I asked him how much they are. I said, you know what? It doesn't matter the price. It is the experience at Galaxy's Edge has, that is, has yes! Has anyone gotten a lightsaber made in Come on, you know you're Disney? out there! Share pictures of your lightsabers! I think it's really cool. And then when I saw the price, I was like, oh my god. Listen, we've seen all of you with your lightsaber bags getting on the planes. It's in really Orlando, cool. it's so awesome. So my understanding of this is you can get your legacy lightsaber in Galaxy's Edge. Yes! Ranging yes. from $149.99 to $229.99. A fair, fair price. I guess if you're really a fan, like I would want. I'm really a fan. A designer purse. I still have my Toys R Us lightsaber. <laughs> I know you do. Maybe you deserve one, Hank. Yes! Um, but apparently, I think what you told me was that the first thing you get is the... The hilt. The hilt. Okay, and then you pay extra for the... For the blade. Okay, see, see see my notes. Interesting. See, just look. Obi-Wan's an... lightsaber. Hold that one up, hold it up. Obi-Wan's lightsaber was $139.99. Okay. Just for the saber. Then, it's $45 to $50 for the blade. Okay. So, do what you gotta do. Talk to HR, which I know HR. It's me. <laughs> And we're gonna budget it out! Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's about the cost of gas right now. Yeah. And what would I rather have, a lightsaber or getting from here to there? Okay. Lightsaber. Box Lunch um, has some pretty cool... Box Lunch cool, looks good. Some pretty cool shirts. They've got... Does right? he look like he's a... It's like a Western Kenobi. I, I don't know. This is a cool one, maybe. Oh, that, that one's cool. Right? What are those guys called? Don't say it. Inquisitors. It, yes! I was gonna say investigators yes! and then interrogators. Inquisitors. Sith investigators. <laughs> I really dun, dun, dun. I've learned a lot. I didn't know that Jedi were ever being hunted. But because I'm actually watching this, I know that now. Yeah. Um, you're doing good. And look, Lola. Oh, she's so cute, the little droid. Yeah, that's a cute shirt. That's um, a good merchandise op. The other thing that like I a saw. Pin. Um, was Loungefly, and I don't think this is new news, but they're re-releasing it and there's a waitlist for it. That's and cool! Look at that! Right? That's yeah, actually, that's really cool. That is very nice. I like that. How they does Darth Vader take his toast? Burnt. 
Is that right? That is so wrong! Oh. Why would you say that? Because... That's messed up! But he was... He was burnt. On the dark side! Oh. That was so not cool! That is a much nicer answer. Yeah! What's the next cookie? The next cookie is another Disney Can plus. we give a hint? Wait, can we give a gift hint? Sure. <gasps> Put the gift up. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Um, oh. This cookie is really, really cool. And I'm really excited to show you next week. So please tune in for that. And also coming up very soon, we're gonna have just um, showing so how cool. the, an episode just based on how this was made. Just a relaxing video. So if you are new here, thank you so much for watching this episode. You'll find that we have satisfying videos, we have cookie talks like this, yes. and a lot of fun shorts that I'm trying to make. So I hope you're enjoying them. Oh, the shorts them. have been getting... Oh. Please convince her to get me a lightsaber! Use the force! Not gonna happen. Oh! Subscribe. You're looking like a Sanderson sister! Right? Subscribe. Like. These are the villain. Blah. Blah. These are the shorts you've been looking for. Wait, that sounds like pants. <laughs> Hit the bell for notifications. These are the reels you're looking for. Share. Tell your friends. Okay, now you're just getting weird. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap right. this up. Bye, cookie friends. Is it Wednesday yet? New episode day! Woo! See you next time. Bye! See you next time, friends! Yeah! Sisters? Whoa! Don't, don't, don't. Come on! Sisters? Ah! It's still making. Why am I not in character? <laughs> All this comedy gold going right down. Sisters! <laughs> what the fuss? Get down, get down tonight. Hello there! <laughs> No! How do I turn it off? Hit the button! Ah! <laughs> the boys. <laughs> Alright, now it's kinda of scary. I'm tired. I'm tired today. Glad I got my, my bathrobe on. Okay. You sound like an old British woman. Cause hello there. Turn it off!